So ultimately, what is our job as an accountant? Part of our job, when we put it in the context of managerial accounting, is to examine the labor time records and charge the labor costs to the appropriate jobs or departments and to factory overhead, right? Because we have to have the proper analysis to tell the managers exactly what is our rate of profitability, right? How much money are we really making? Does this, does this seem like a viable decision in order to keep going based on our, our costs that we have incurred? Our labor. Part of our labor cost summary, we have our debits and we have our credits. This is a basic um, a spreadsheet of our, our debits and credits here. And of course, to increase our, our payroll that we were having within this context is to put it on the credit side, right? So we can see that our payroll is increasing. As our payroll is increasing, we can see the work in progress and factory overhead is also increasing on the debit side. Right? Because the more work that we're putting in, the higher the payroll that we have because we need to pay the individuals that are creating whatever it is that we're creating. So essentially what happens is that we have the work in process and factory overhead on the debit side to increase it. And we have the debits, the, I'm sorry, we have uh, payroll on the credit side to also increase it. And on both sides, they should essentially be equal because if it isn't work in process, it should be factory overhead, but we're paying these individuals regardless. And we can just see a certain type of flow that we have here, right? So the labor time records, what is it recording? It's giving us uh, information that's needed for the summary the labor cost summary, the factory overhead ledger, the job cost ledger, and essentially a lot of this information is going to go into the general ledger um, in, in different parts of the general ledger. Also, what we need to understand, as we mentioned before, is that we must have we must period periodically report exactly what we pay to our our FICA, our FUTA, our, so we have the, um, FICA stands for Federal Insurance Contributions Act. We have the FUTA, which is Federal Unemployment Tax Act. And when you have the SUTA, which is State Unemployment Tax Act. So the employer has to pay to these agencies. Uh, in addition to the paying to those agencies, uh, we have to report exactly what we've paid to these agencies to the federal government so we can put it as an expense for our tax return. And remember that your payroll may be on an accrual basis, right? Because a financial statement date is not going to coincide with some of our, pay our payment records, right? So maybe you get paid every two weeks, maybe you get paid every month, maybe you get paid weekly. But within that context, maybe there is a work in process that is currently being done. So you don't have the most accurate statement available for your financial statements. So in order to have the accurate statement, usually it would have to be maybe at year end. Then you're going to have an accurate amount because if it's on a um, if it's on a calendar basis, it will probably be on it, it will be on December 31st and then any other type of uh fiscal year basis um, where we'll have its end time and you're going to have the basis based on that end time.